Ladies and gentlemen, it's a joyful moment for me and for us because we are discussing now about the limits of our beliefs, the difference between uh, imagination, phantasm and reality. What is objective and what is uh, false. Um, so uh, stay with us those 16 minutes in order to find out a beautiful, a beautiful uh, uh, way of exploring the reality. Thank you, Mr. Marko Misarov, author of InfoVision Method, to be here in Romania and to help us to learn more about who we are and how we can perceive this world. Thank you, Professor Mihaela Istrati, for, for being um, an, uh, a disciple uh, of uh, Mark Komisarov and uh, <coughs> today helping us to see here in the studio what's InfoVision real about. Yes. Uh, how do you, you create the InfoVision method? So, is it miracle? Is it objective reality? Please, Mr. Commissar. Okay, a couple of words about myself. Please. I was born and uh, graduated in the Soviet Union. At that time, uh, Soviet mentality, Soviet government says there is no miracles, all is materialistic. So, yes, I'm materialist. And when I meet with something unusual, I didn't believe it. I thought it may be a mistake but, or counterfeit. Uh, but one time, about 16 years ago, I saw the person who can demonstrate very unusual ability. He, could, he said that he can see without using the eyes. I didn't believe it. Impossible. Of course. Some fraud, something. But else. I am very interested in the life around me. So we create the meeting. I come to his home. He gave me blindfold. I check it. It's impossible to cheat. He put it on his eyes and start to read book, follow me around the furniture, uh, say what is now in a TV screen, comments of this. So I checked this blindfold. Yes. It was impossible to cheat. I believe to myself. I don't believe to the miracles, but I believe to what, myself. What you can touch. Yes. 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 And if I was proved that that is a reality, it's become reality for me. Yes. But it's become the question for me. Should I start to believe in miracle because it was no explanation of this one? Or it's no miracles? I said, no miracles. World we are living, we don't know it's for the um, for the end, we don't explain many things, it's new for us. So what I meet, it's something unknown part of the world we are living. And it's become very interesting for me to understand how it works. And if it works and it gives some benefits for us, to create methodology that can wake up this ability in the brain of any person. That was my goal. It was not so easy for you, an engineer, to accept this uh, way of receiving the information. It took how, how long to, to, to believe it? It was for the first moment? <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. It's difficult to believe when you cannot prove it. Yes. But I saw it, I checked it, next moment I understood that is a reality. <laughs> the, you know, it's very difficult to go something that you know it's impossible. Everybody knows that it's impossible to see without using eyes. Of course. Any life uh, creatures, uh, if it loses or he it lose his eyes, he can see nothing. It's blind as a bat. Nothing. Yes. yes. Everybody knows it. But 500 years ago. Everybody know that sun is running around the earth. 
Any person can come and see in the morning, sun is here, there, 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 and sun is running around the earth. It, everybody see it, it's proof. And, you know, I respect the person like Nikola uh, Kopernik, Nikola Kopernik, Giordano Bruno, Galileo Galilei. I think how wild, what, wide, wide, it's supposed to be their mind, mind. Yes. to say, no, it's not sun go around the earth, it earth go around the sun. Two of them was, was fired, but what happened? Sun start to run around the earth? No, it's still uh, earth yes. around around the sun. So, yes, everybody th see it's impossible. Look a little bit deeper. The, we know not so much about our brain, about his ability. And I understood that our brain has not only five sense of feeling, but another sixth sense. The sixth sense. It can receive the information directly without using sense of feeling. Eyes, ears, and all of this one. But that is, was my hypothesis, let's call it hypothesis, my understanding, but I needed to prove it. Yes. Because I can say everything, nobody believe me, especially uh, we can see blindfolded. So <clears throat> when the people ask me, what do I do in New York? I live there about 26 years. I, I'm saying, you know, I have a school of miracles in New York. <laughs> and people yeah, start to laugh, smile yes. at me. They believe yeah. that I'm joking. And uh, I laughed to them and say, but I'm not joking. Yes. Uh, in my school, I use this blindfold. It's a mask for travelers. If the travelers want to have a rest, they put this mask on the ears, on the glass. Uh, For the, the, the ear ears. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and relax stage. So uh, this mask, the company says, total darkness. Yes. When your eyes are open. open. So they guarantee it. Open eyes, you see nothing. Yes. We, uh, inside the mask. Of course. And when I discuss on this possibility with people, I say to them, you see this mask. Uh, light cannot go through. Yes. It's light proof. Yes. So it's a physical law. Nobody discuss it. It's a law. I agree too. Any kind of life subjects can see just only when they have the eyes. It's a physio physiological law. Yeah. Nobody discusses it, it's true. Yes. So when physics cover physi physiologic, you can see nothing. It's impossible to see. But my student can do it. So it's a miracle. So they're a miracle person. I am not joking about school for miracles. Yeah. But then I stop to laugh and say, no, it's not a miracle. It's a new ability of our brain that we did not know about, that we did not disco uh, discover it yet. But yes. now it's time. So I want you to check this mask. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before our program, I, I try this mask and I will try it again in order uh, uh, to, to be sure that I cannot see and now I'm with open eyes <laughs> and I, I, I see nothing, it's total darkness. Now I will try to do this thing. To try to look from here. No, I have no chance. Now it is a matter of believing me because you, the viewers, are not here. But I cannot see no, absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. So now, uh, what my, my critical mind says is that, of course, this mask can have a remote control in order to change its quality. But I cannot see how this plas plastic can, can uh, change its quality. So uh, it's pure plastic and with this sponge. For, for sponge and is nothing, is nothing. Okay, 
So from my point of view, and this is now my problem, uh, if, for example, um, Mr. Komisarov paid me in order to lie <laughs> and to say, okay, you see, this is in fact um, uh, uh, a blind uh, uh, mask. Yes, this is, you see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a matter of opening the mind. Exactly. So I'm touching this. This is true for me. This is real for me. And uh, it is my reputation here, in fact. Even though I'm, 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 uh, uh, I'm lying, even though I'm crazy, even though this is real. So this is real. I cannot see nothing, nothing. Okay, yes. I want to say a little bit more. You know, yes, I appreciate that you <coughs> prove, but it's you prove. Yes. It's not enough. For me, it's supposed to be proven by not the person, but for the special equipment. So I, cre I created this mask for scientists, for people who believe some equipment, not to the person. That is there inside the mask. I put photodiodes. Yeah. Super sensitive. So there are three photodiodes in for each eye. Six. Correct. Yes. And they can receive the light from any other side. Any direction from in Correct. inside. Yes. And these photodiodes connected with special screen. Yeah. Now it's light come here. You see. Okay. So it's numbers. one thousand and something. Some. Yes. When it's, there is no light, the, the it's zero. zero, zero. So I asked Michaela to prove that we are not cheating, yeah. to take this mask for some kind of demonstration. Okay, but please, may I look it? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. I, I heard, because you see, ladies and gentlemen, I have to check it also. Yes, so, and so we will show I, the screen uh, to the so, camera. Of course, as I think, it's the same plastic with yeah, the Yeah, it is the beards, same mask. The same mask. So, uh, sh may I put it? I will yes. put it myself. Yes. On so the, the eyes. It is the same sensation as with the, uh, the first uh, mask. I'm showing the screen to the camera. Okay. It's so zero. Now, supposing that I have to, to look at something or uh, I can see nothing, I try like this. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I, I try to cheat in, in each kind of, of position. <laughs> It's still zero. But it's nothing, and here it's it's the light. It's it's a, a very high, so I cannot see nothing. Supposing I'm no nothing, nothing, and it is zero on on the screen. Yes, yes, it is of, zero. Of course, and now it is. You see another light. Yes, light come here. Ladies and see. gentlemen, for for me, uh, um, I can believe it now that Professor Mihala Istrati. It's blind, in total darkness, so she cannot see with Zero. the eyes. So about the position of the mask, uh, can he put it to, to, to be sure that, that she covered the nose? Because I cannot see. Okay, okay. Maybe to put it, uh, uh, to, to arrange it a little bit. Uh, uh, you see, uh, that is, it is proving okay. Okay. zero. Okay, okay, okay. It is proving zero. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we have here some colored paper. We start with this. I will put it like here. So, uh, and I will ask Professor Istrati to tell me the color. Okay, the first one is yellow. Yellow. Again, yellow. Uh, green. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. Red. You see, I'm randomly trying to change the color. I don't know even myself what color I will take. Red. Red. Yellow. Green. Blue, orange, yellow. From now on, is the blue. I want you 
to stop it yes. for a moment. Please. I want to pay you attention of the position of your head. Yes. You know, uh, you keep the colors paper there. Her eyes are looking somewhere here. She did not look through the mask. She did not receive the information using her eyes. She received the information, this part of your head. Mm -hmm. But uh, supposing I'm staying like this. Yes, it is difficult. Uh, believe me, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm looking like a, the chickens are looking like this <laughs> in, the, in the side. Uh, yes. Although I, I may look like this, in, in a, in a, but it is, is very uncomfortable. So you inside, please, Professor Istrati, you are, your eyes, as you are feeling, are looking uh, straight away, or how do you feel it? Please. Uh, my impression is that eyes are moving inside, but because I, don't, I cannot watch my eyes, uh, it may as well be an illusion. Okay, okay. But uh, if, if I were to look with my eyes, of course my face would have to be turned directly like, to. Yes. It would make no sense to stay like this and force my eyes look of like that. That now, now, a critical mind and a closed mm -hmm. mind will mm -hmm. say, okay, how can he see? He see maybe fr from, from fr and we are trying to find an escape where the light is coming on even though it yeah. is zero indication. Zero. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So... Okay, you will continue? Uh, no, just, just uh, to end it, please, uh, if you can yes. read. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is supposed to be. Okay. Shall zero. we see to the mm -hmm. camera that's yes, zero? Okay. Ma it's minus. Minus. Yeah. minus. <laughs> it's less okay. than zero. Okay. So, uh, you put another yes. colored paper, now, now. yeah? Did you do it? Yeah, no, uh, now, I'm looking now, please. Okay, so now it's yellow. Yellow. Uh, sorry, I ha want to take another from the middle. Uh, orange. Yes. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Yes, green. No, it's not. she said yellow. Yellow. I said okay. yellow. Yeah. Yellow. No. Okay. Now. <laughs> now. Now it's again, green. green. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, uh, a, a yeah, question: you. If, if uh, uh, the subject. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. You see, it's when okay. It's, it's now light. Here. Okay. It's now, it's it's light. now light. If uh, somebody asks, can you read it by looking directly? To the to the uh, to the subject of experiment, so you are staying like this. I know I don't know nothing about the, the method, but if you stay like this, can you see? Because you're telling that the information is receiving on one side. It is uh, one side, this side only, or it can be also this side. Or what you you observe from you the know uh, when we received any kind of information, you using our regular sense of feeling. Yeah. We made it mostly comfortable for us. Yes. If I want to see you, my eyes looking at you. If I want to uh, see Professor Michaela, I turn my eyes to her. Of course. This is natural. I'm supposed to be received information in mostly comfortable way for me. Okay. So for her, because she not use her eyes, for her it's easier to turn this uh, to turn the head this way. She received the information this. How it happened, how it worked, I don't no. know yet. Okay, okay. That is the reason why I'm working with scientists. Yes. They're supposed to explain it using their equipment and all of this. And maybe this is the moment that we kindly ask Professor Enrico Pierangelo. Uh, Professor Enrico Pierangeli it's a um, neurosurgeon from Italy, uh, also uh, with many competence in neurology and also oncology. As I know, he was a professor uh, in the um, Bar University and also conduct many neurosurgery. And uh, now we are trying to hear Professor 
Pierangeli, can you hear me please? And welcome to our program from Italy. Thank you, thank you for calling. Best wishes to everybody. Thank you. Please, Professor, can you tell us your professional background? Uh, I, I, I was uh, the director of the Department of Neurosurgery in the um, hospital of Taranto, which is the largest, a large town in southern Italy near Bari in Apulia. Yes. Uh, before before this, I was doing some uh, learning and training at University of California, San Francisco in neuro-oncology and uh, some training in mini-invasive neurosurgical techniques at University of Mainz, Germany. And I keep printing, publishing uh, and presenting uh, papers and uh, conferences on, uh, neuro on neurosurgery and neurosciences. Thank you, Professor. Please tell us your first impressions about InfoVision. Well, uh, a very simple consideration which was appealing to me and maybe to people listening our your program is that the dreams of people which are born blind are with images and colors. So should be a different way of perception, which is not only the nor what we consider and the vision through the eyes. I hope my English will is good enough for, for you. We can understand you excellent. Thank you, Professor. Okay, so uh, I was interested in the technique of uh, uh, Mark um, Komisarov because may help to open a, a new way of perception which is in the human being but probably is not used, probably. As many other functions of our brain because everybody of, of of us knows that our brains have so many potentiality that are not fully understand and not fully used. So um, with the experience of uh, uh, students that attended the courses about InfoVision made by, uh, um, organized by Mark Komisarov, we asked to some of their students to, to participate as a voluntary to some scientific test, which was organized in cooperation with the Laboratory of Quantistic Physics in Bari, directed by Professor Elio Conte. So the, the, we um, got the cooperation of five students with good training with Mark Komisarov and uh, we asked this voluntary people, the average uh, education of these people was a degree. Uh, there was also a lady doctor and uh, a commercialist, doctor of, uh, a commercialist, a, a teacher of a school. So was um, the age the age was around 50 mostly with a young doctor which she, she was 24. She was the only young one in the group. So these voluntary people were asked to read names and colors uh, up coming out on the computer uh, prepared on uh, um, a pro prepared on a program by Professor Elio Conte and they were not been exposed to these uh, names or colors before and they were asked to do so wearing a mask a black mask very thick uh, this mask was um, having inside some photometers 
to measure the photons, so the quantity of light, and the photometer was measuring zero. This means that there was no light entering the mask and the eyes of these people cannot receive any light, but they were reading names and colors. After that, we duplicate somewhat the experiment in a more, um, more different, more complicated way. Okay, then we duplicate the experiment with uh, cameras uh, having inside, so excuse me, see, cameras orga um, um, organized inside the mask. So the, the black mask was having two cameras inside yeah. and they were uh, with a, some kind of television connection. They were um, showing us the pupils of uh, the peoples during the experiment. The pupils were fully dilated, which doctors, they call this fully, my, fully mid, midriatic pupils. So the, when the pupil is fully dilated means that there is no light and the, the eyes try to enlarge at maximum to help if there are some photons to help them entering. But when this fully mediated pupils means that there is no light at all. And the voluntary people also with during this measurement with cameras inside the mask, they were against reading names and colors on the computer of Professor Elio Conte. During both the experiments, the one with photometer and the one with cameras inside the mask, the electroencephalogram was recorded for all the patients and the analysis of the wave patterns was done by a neurologist which is dedicated to electroencephalogram, which as you know is not my field. I do mostly surgery, mostly neurosurgery. So Dr. Pa Paolo Panarali went through the, the um, e electroencephalograms, he analyzed the wave patterns, and uh, we will have uh, a meeting in a few days because the paper uh, is almost ready and uh, will be published soon. So we are uh, in the hope to offer to the scientific community a study on this uh, topic, which could be a contribution to help understanding the possibility of human brain, which probably is not just related to vision, but is related to information, generally speaking, which means knowing what is going on. It's not, not only vision. So it's really an, an, enlarging, an enlarging field and uh, studies are going uh, on this topic and uh, in different parts of the world with different techniques. And uh, we should be grateful to Marco Miserov for having organized some kind of a school because he does courses about that. He's the only, the only one doing courses on, uh, on this. And uh, during these courses, it seems that also some patient which was blind start to see something at least they start to see lights and and so and going on with training we hope to have better results professor uh, can you tell us uh, first um, information that uh, about the brain waves uh, in what kind of brain waves do you record it during the experiment mainly the, the brain waves, alpha waves, beta waves, theta waves, and so on, were recorded uh, on the voluntary people before starting the reading with the blind mask and during. And uh, the evaluation is uh, made by Professor Paolo Panarale, a neurologist, according to the computerized, uh, to the computerized, um, Datas. Yes. Uh, I, I am, 
I remember that uh, the, um, the waves coming out were the, the waves very similar to what we what what is happening in people that are reading uh, with normal lights. But uh, to enter in these details, I think is better that uh, we wait. Scientific information is done by people more uh, competent in the field, just to be correct. Professor Enrico Pierangeli, thank you very much for being here from Italy to Bucharest, Romania, in order to understand that we are dealing with one of the most important and maybe amazing discovery of this century. Best wishes to you. Thank you for diffusing information because I hope that people will get more uh, um, more happy knowing that they can do and it's not only wish, vision but just information people can use the our brain better thank you again professor thank you bye. see you. bye bye <coughs> yes so um, we have the first scientific proof of the method do it in in a quant a quantum physics laboratory and still, I'm sure that even now, some viewers cannot believe it, believe in it. And they can say, okay, they are hand in hand with the laboratory, it's, and it's a matter of, for example, being renowned in the world. But, but it, this is already a schizoparanoid way of thinking. This is, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, Please. this is one of the reasons why we, we would like to somehow duplicate or maybe even totally different experiment, it doesn't matter, yes. in other parts of the world because, okay, if you have only one team of uh, specialists, then people may say, oh, you've arranged things, but you have one team in Italy, one team in Romania, one yes. team wherever of else. Of course, you and I know that you open to, to start a study <laughs> in the Faculty of Psychology and Educational Science, even in Spiro Hyatt University from Bucharest, and I know that you agree that tonight your conference in Spiro Hyatt University, in order to be the first, uh, our first uh, uh, contact, place, let's say, in, in, uh, in exploring uh, the matter. <laughs> couple of words about Professor Mikhail Estrati. <clears throat> she was my student, very good, very talented student. After this, she had a special education, how to use my methodology and how to teach others. Yes. She is a licensed trainer and she is working not only when I come, but she started to work independently, do excellent job. And I want you to ask something I explain why I ask you to do it. Uh, the professor Enrique Perangelo said that it's not only information, visual information. Yes. It's another interesting things happened with the people when this uh, center of information start to work. Yeah. So I ask Professor Strati to say a little bit about our unusual things that we discovered here in Romania. Please. Yes, we've had uh, many already interesting cases here in Romania. I will be talking about them because they were here. There are others around the world, but... So, so far we know InfoVision can help with vision, of course. That's the most obvious connection. But it can also help with hearing, with logopedic problems, with uh, IQ. It increases the IQ. So, with dyslexia, so kind of no connection in between these issues. These we've noticed in time, and we were thinking that, uh, is that all it can do, or is there more to it? And if so, what part of the brain can do all of this? Because if you think, oh, he repaired vision, then immediately your mind goes to eyes, if it repaired, and so on and so forth. So, in trying to explore other uh, issues that InfoVision may help, 
Uh, I start looking for information to see if that was only an idea I got or only a hope, a wish, yes. or it can really happen. So we had this luck to have in Brasov a gentleman coming for the seminar. He came for the regular benefits of the yeah. seminar, seeing blindfolded, receiving the information. But after the first day of second level, which is the one where we uh, learn to wear the mask, he came back to the seminar and told us that, you know, overnight I felt something was happening in my left brain and I didn't tell you to yesterday that I have a problem. He had a surgery nine years before probably where something happened and his right hand could not be brain surgery, brain yes, surgery yes. but left brain left, surgery. Left, left connected with the right hand. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So after the surgery went okay, but he couldn't use his right hand any longer. And the doctor said, forget about your right hand, you will be able to do only little things. Don't yes. count on it anymore, start using your right, the left one. And after the first session of second level, in the evening when they got home, him being actually a right-hand person, um, preparing dinner, his wife noticed that he was slicing the bread using his right hand, which he hadn't done for nine years, right before the surgery. So, so he recovered? He recovered, recovered, yes, after the first session only. And Incredible side effect. <coughs> yes. Exactly, exactly. Yes. So he came uh, back uh, next day and discussed with us, would it be an effect of that? Would it be a coincidence? We tried to uh, understand things. But then I got more courageous and said, okay, so this one works. Let's try to find a more severe case where we cannot say it was a coincidence. Yes. So now we have uh, another gentleman in Suchava yes. uh, who uh, during uh, birth labor pro process, because it was difficult, the doctors had to take him out with forceps. So they must have pushed some neurons there on again left uh, brain. So for entire life, for his entire life, he's 38 now. Yeah. He couldn't use at all the right side of the of the body. The, the, right, the, the, the yeah, right side. the hand all, stays all like right, this. Yes, yes. The, um, the leg the is legs. shorter, three centimeters shorter, and the knee he cannot bend. Of course, he's got uh, prob uh, problems with speaking. He's not co coherent, just words, not sentences. His IQ is not clear, let's say, not low, but not high, it's unclear. He's been to school, but couldn't necessarily integrate. He's graduated eight, eight classes only. Yes. He's got invalidity degree, so he's staying at home okay. with allowance. Yeah. Unfortunately, we only have 15 minutes, so we have to hurry okay. a little bit. Okay, yeah. so again, uh, after the first uh, session of um, wearing the mask, he immediately was able to stretch his hand to the end so side. After, after the first session yes Correct. yes yes so within first two. session means but, but uh, how how long uh, uh, time one hour two hours let me say a couple of words Please. you know our explanation <coughs> when we activate this new ability in our brain yeah what happens scientist says that we use our brain just only for eight ten percent the activation of new center in our brain. Invite extra cells of brain for the active working. Yeah. For example, it was 10%, now it's just only plus 5, 15. Yeah. It's 1.5 times more. And they can compensate and the functions. Yes. Great, you understand yes. general idea. Brain receive the, these the extra cells yes. and mm -hmm. it use it for the way that he dis, uh, decide it's better and it's really miracle happens. Yes. Sorry that I break his picture. Uh, shall we proceed now to the yes. second moment of, um, of uh, practice? Yes. Uh, of, uh, of 
So we have here some uh, plastic uh, glasses, uh, three colors. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, now it's zero. Okay. So it's zero. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, of course, I have to, to put it, maybe to change a little bit uh, the sure. position because <laughs> you were you was there and you you saw you saw it. I'm seeing it now as you well. So. <laughs> uh, of course, but still, still. Yeah. Yeah. At least to be a different one. <laughs> yes. So please now, can you give me blue? Uh, it would fall down. Red. Again, it would fall down. Yellow. Yellow is on top. Okay. Please another yellow. It's down there, down there. Oh. <laughs> uh, red. Yeah. Red can be done. A red again. Impossible. Blue. Blue, yes. Yellow. No, it falls down. Red. Blue again. Red. It falls down. Oh, no, we've got this Just one. another. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A blue. A blue one again. There's no blue anymore. Okay, that's it's enough, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's it's of of course. So, uh, yeah, uh, no 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 doubt. And again, please, can you give me now the mask sure. again? Oh, sure. Yes. So. Be careful! It's a wire. It's um, limited. Now yeah, I am putting. The, yes, and you were staying like this. So I suppose now to see in this direction. That is zero. Is zero. Supposing that I'm putting like this the mask. No, oh, no, if you put no it chance. This, yes, yeah. yeah <laughs> if I you try to make any hole, it will be immediately. I, I yeah. try to make a hole yeah, here. Yeah, it was 25, 12, yeah, no, no. Yes, like we can read the light there now, yeah. for example. Yes, yes, yeah. of course. So even though, ladies and gentlemen, I can, uh, I cannot see, I can see nothing here. No, no. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, if you agree now, we'll we'll see and maybe comment a little bit uh, the the images from the experiment run by Professor Elio Conte in uh, yes. in uh, uh, yes. Laboratorio di Fisica Quantistica. <laughs> right. Yes. So um, I will kindly ask my colleague to to run the movie. Uh, yes, that's so much film was of and also put it. So here we have Professor Elio Conte. Yes. Monitorando i soggetti sia per quanto riguarda la l'earth rate variability, e cioè la modulazione sul ritmo cardiaco da parte del sistema nervoso autonomico, sia registrando le EG in tre condizioni sperimentali. Nel primo caso abbiamo registrato le EG di base, cioè con un soggetto a riposo e occhi chiusi, quantificando le bande cerebrali fondamentali e in particolare le alfa. Nel secondo caso abbiamo registrato le EG chiedendo al soggetto che leggesse alcuni numeri che, avevano, che erano proiettati sul monitor di un computer e selezionati con un software studiato ad hoc perché i numeri apparissero in modo random e anche in quel caso abbiamo effettuato registrazione dell'attività cerebrale e delle, bande, delle relative bande coinvolte. Nel terzo caso abbiamo messo al soggetto una maschera davanti agli occhi. La maschera era dotata all'interno di due fotocamere riguardanti rispettivamente sia l'occhio destro sia l'occhio sinistro e funzionante mediante mediante la rendita rossa. A questo punto intanto abbiamo verificato in primo luogo che gli occhi del soggetto erano totalmente al buio, quindi abbiamo per tre volte eh, registrato le immagini eh, sia con la fotocamera 
diciamo, irradiata dalla, dalla raggio infrarosso sia in assenza di raggio infrarosso verificando appunto che gli occhi del soggetto erano assolutamente a buio. In queste condizioni sperimentali siamo andati a, abbiamo chiesto al soggetto di leggere la medesima sequenza numerica che era stata precedentemente proiettata quando aveva invece la possibilità con la luce di poter leggere liberamente. Dico la stessa sequenza nel senso che veniva generata con lo stesso meccanismo random del software e noi anche in questo caso mentre il paziente, il soggetto leggeva i numeri che apparivano nel monitor abbiamo registrato le EG e quantificato le relative bande cerebrali di interesse. 5, 8, 4, 7, 4, 3, Which is a very important moment of the experiment. 1, 8, We may see the mediatic effect. Yeah. 2, so it's total darkness il and risultato soddisfacente è che in condizione quando i due occhi erano in condizione di buio totale, verificato attraverso i due, te, due televisori, tra l'altro che, che monitoravano oh, diciamo, costantemente anche l'occhio e quindi la condizione della pupilla, ecco, il fatto centrale che è emerso è che particolarmente per le alfa, ma adesso andremo poi ad un'elaborazione più accurata, in, in condizione di buio totale, il, l'attività alfa appunto era totalmente differente sia nei valori medi che nei valori di picco rispetto al, al, al caso in cui invece il, il soggetto aveva facoltà di leggere con no, sottoposto ad adeguata luminosità. Yes, thank, thank you to Professor Elio Conti, Beauty, beautiful uh, experiment. So, um, you are waiting for them to publish the first uh, scientific uh, uh, paper on InfoVision, yes. And um, I think this will be the start of, of um, um, opening uh, our minds to, to another kind of, of uh, reality. Uh, I, we have, I think, eight minutes now. Um, maybe uh, to, to conclude um, the experimental uh, part of our program with the third, the third uh, reading, which is the most uh, complex, let's say, because we have words uh, <coughs> also. So, uh, in order to, to be obsessive, obsessive, please give me again the mask. Yes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 I'm not believing that I'm doing this, but still it is important that you know that it is very difficult to me to, to play a role now. I'm telling that what, what I feel, that this is re real. So it's total darkness, total, total darkness. So supposing I'm putting like this the mask. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it changed while you we were have, changing we have the readings. mask. Yes, I can see nothing. I'm blind like, like a bat. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Sorry for, for doing this, okay. but it, this is our critical mind always mm -hmm. fighting with us. Don't believe they are lying to you. This is not real. Yes, yes. so zero. we are zero. So, I will mix uh, the, the words and I will keep it in this position. Okay. Yes. Covor. Covor. Lumina. Covor. Pahar. Upside down soare. <laughs> oh. Soare, right position now. Success. Natura. 
just a moment. I, I, I. Lumina upside down. Yes, I, I, I try to create a, a, a strange situation, but <laughs> I cannot. Fericire. Yes, this is very important now. We are. I am happy that I can witness this, uh, this thing. Favor. Mm -hmm. Pahar, <laughs> in a sleeping position. In sleeping position. Oh, this is new. Thank you. I want to, to have a, a, a sleepy glass. <laughs> Maybe later on. Lumina? Yes, I think it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is obviously that can, nobody can guess, th yes, this. Uh, and we, we finish with the word light. We need, we need light in order to accept and to, 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 to know that we are involving in, in a process of prog progress, we human beings. Right. And maybe is now the first moment to accept that the reality can change for us. And as I see it now, uh, witnessing this, I think your discovery, it's uh, like a Copernicus discovery. Yeah. It, is, it is revolutionary, yes, because it, for the first time, we can speak in public of these things and we can, we can uh, test uh, ourselves. So um, uh, this is important, ladies and gentlemen. So if, if some, some, somebody uh, would, would like to explore this possibility, with, um, can learn from Mihaela Istrati, the method in Romania here, and can, uh, can explore. Maybe some other universities uh, would like to, to do some tests uh, similar to Professor Elio Con, Con, uh, Conte, so yes, you, you're open to, to this. Of course. This is, I think, the most important thing, that you're open to be in a laboratory. Definitely. Yes. And I want to say, you know, connection with scientists, I divide two parts. First, I supposed to prove that there is a reality. Yes. And it was done by Elio Conte and Enrico Garanjo. And I hope maybe in Romania we do the same, the same. just proof. And when it's proved, we can <coughs> take another part, search it, to explain, to search our brain, what part of the brain, eye in white, where is direct. Yes. 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 So it's very Entirely new, uh, uh, new field of, of research. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right, it's just the beginning. Yes, just the beginning of the, the, I hope that this program will be watched and starting from this program, uh, the laboratories from Bucharest, they have, have the, the capacities of uh, the Italian laboratory to uh, replicate the experiment in the same conditions. Yes. Um, thank you, thank you very much for, for this uh, possibility of um, testing <laughs> our <laughs> limits, the limits of yes. our thinking and our mind. This is, uh, uh, in fact, uh, have implication in all our lives. Exactly. Yes. Agree. Yeah. Thank you, thank you again, and hope to see you uh, in, in, uh, in another uh, program. It yes. was a pleasure for me, and I believe for Professor Mostrati. And we will be appreciate your next invitation. We will say you about news in this field and maybe discuss something. So thank you very much of for the invitation. Thank, thank you. you again, Professor Mihaly Stati. Thank, thank you, thank you again, Mr. Engineer Marco Misarov, <laughs> author of InfoVision uh, Technique, a revolutionary um, method and way of looking to reality. Thank you.